Slaves of a nameless god, once again I bring you the challenge of Goliath of Goth. It was time for war when God's people saw the Philistines in between the sea gets a call. But God had Saul in the place, so both of these armies was practically face to face. The Philistines had a dude that was leading a crew. He was nine foot two and nasty and rude and mean as they come. And he was known for beating other soldiers like drums. He was undefeated. He had the full armor. I don't think that he needed it. Cause he would look down and laugh. Take a swing and chop his enemies in half. And his name was Goliath, and all the saw soldiers thought that they would die if they ever fought with the giant. So they laid low, and they wasn't even trying. They said, it's like killing yourself. Goliath saw this, he started feeling himself. He hollered out, listen up, chief. We don't need whole armies to settle this beef. Pete, send over your coldest soldier. If he could fade me, we'd be your slaves, and you own us. Uh, but if he tries to take off, I'll beat his brakes off, slice his face off, or Chop his waist off, leave him in two. Your army can't harm me, punk. Now what you won't do? And Saul and his crew was looking at each other like, dude, he talking to you. Talking to you. And they was all scared to face, dog. They like, you heard of me chopping faces and waist off. And nobody moved. Everybody scared to die, so they were scared to lose. And Goliath was so cool. For 40 days in a row, yo, this is what he do. He stand there, rip off his shirt, draw a line in the dirt and scream. Who wanna get hurt? Every morning he'd get up. The Israelites would watch him do a thousand sit-ups. Voters he'd pick up without even trying. His army would get behind him and sing. Goliath, Goliath. He would start cabbage patching and fall down laughing and nothing would happen. Nobody made a peep, but God had a plan. He was watching the sheep. And his name was David from Bethlehem. He was the youngest of eight kids. And his job was a shepherd. Three brothers in the army. Sometimes he would be Saul's helper. One day, his father said, Dave, take this food to your brothers and make sure that they're okay. So we left the next day, and Saul's army was still in the same place. David was so happy to see his big bros. He ran up to him, and he gave him big hugs. He said, is everything cool? That's when he heard Goliath scream. What y'all want to do? And he said, who is that? They said, it's Goliath the giant from Gath. And everybody ran. David was like, what's going on, man? They said, this bully keeps sweating us, and each and every day he comes out here threatening us. Whoever put him on his back gets one of the king's daughters and don't have to pay taxes. And David said, who is this slime ball? And why y'all just let him stand here and defy y'all? His brother said, yeah, right, man, get out of here, Dave. You just want to see a fight. That's so weak, you little red-faced geek. Go back home with daddy, man. Who watching the sheep? And David said, why you tripping? I just asked a question. I think y'all forgetting. Y'all the army of the Lord. And you hide like that. Get your sword. Go talk to Goliath like that. <laughs> he had a meeting with the king. Don't worry about a thing. I'ma bury this Philistine. Saul said, you just a baby, Davey. He been fighting since he was your age. Are you crazy? He said, I watch my sheep. And every time a lion or a bear try to creep, thinking he gon' come and eat one of my lambs, I'm right there like, bam, with my club in my hand. No, sir, and he better give it up. If he want to play rough, we got a brand new bear skin rub. Now, how is this different? He laughed at the armies of God, man, dude, tripping. So Saul was like, cool, let's get dude some armor and see what he can do. He gave him a helmet and a vest, strapped the sword on his chest, he took one or two steps. Uh, he said, I can't even do it. This stuff is too heavy, man, I'm not used to it. He took it off, gave it back to the king, looked down and found five smooth rocks in the stream. Put them in his bag, grabbed his staff and his sling, and he said, I'll be right back, don't y'all worry about a thing. He went full speed ahead, and everybody watching was like, that boy dead. Goliath said, what's this, am I a dog that y'all sent a little boy with a stick? <laughs> All right, come on over here, chief. I'm going to leave you in the street. That's a treat for the buzzards to eat. David said, yeah, you doing all the laughing. You coming with a sword and a spear and a javelin. But I come in the name of the Lord. You will never disrespect God's army no more. I'm going to cut off your head and leave you dead in the field. And the world going to know it's a God in Israel. And he don't need weapons to save his people. The battle ain't ours because the Lord going to defeat you. 
So we ran out to beat him. And David wasn't scared. He ran halfway to meet him. Reached in his bag, pulled out a rock, kissed it, put it inside his slingshot. Cocks. And he said, ready, aim, fire. And it hit him in the head and sunk into his brain. And he fell with a crash. The champion from Gath laid out face down on the grass. And since he had no sword, David said, good life, may I please borrow yours? Thank you. And he used it to kill him. He chopped off his head and he said, let's get him. And the Philistines ran. And God's army killed every last man. If you don't think you can make it and you the underdog and you fighting the favorite, well, it don't matter what they said. Always trust God and remember David. Let's go.